If you're over 40, you need to try these hobbies. We're going to hop right into this. I'm going to do a quick little recap of in the past, I've done a couple other videos that were pretty popular. I think you guys are like me and you really enjoy doing hobbies, finding something new to do, and always just keeping our minds working and active. So let's go over a few of the hobbies that seem to be pretty popular that you guys really enjoy. So if you're new here, that, that way you have a really big comprehensive list of a whole bunch of fun hobbies to do. I will link down in the description box and I'll probably put it up over here, a couple different of the hobby videos that I've done in the past if you want more detail because we're just gonna kind of move right through them and not really like show you how to do those because we're gonna get into the new hobbies that we're gonna do today. So one of the ones that was so super popular that I feel like a lot of people really got into was Myrtle. And Myrtle is a game of logic and reasoning where you're trying to figure out who was the murderer, like who did it. And so this was super fun and something that I still do to this day every once in a while, but you're gonna see here in a minute, I have moved on and I have something new we're gonna be trying. And I can't wait to share it with you, so stay tuned. One of the things that we did in the past that a lot of you guys are super interested in was the Legacy Journal. And this is where basically, this was purchased off of Etsy um, as a gift for us. And it asks all kinds of questions about your life and you're writing it down. And then that way you can save this and keep this for your loved ones. Um, you know, as time goes on, great gift to give to your kids, your grandkids. We have expanded on that and one was given to Jason and this is called Grandpa's Story. And so they're both very similar. They um, have, you know, different questions and things like that where you can tell your life story in fun ways and leave behind those things that you want family members to know about that, you know, maybe you didn't really get to expand on, but to always have a permanent place for it. I highly recommend it because a lot of people do do journaling as a hobby. And this is just a really fun, neat idea and just a really thoughtful thing that you can do for your family. So I'll leave some options down below. So that way, you know, you can decide which one is the legacy that you want to leave behind. I'm going to insert a clip here of one that we all love. It's super popular. It's nothing shocking, but you guys all love the diamond painting. And I will tell you that since I started the diamond painting, I have expanded on it to where I have purchased like a little box to keep all my supplies. I did show that I have the light board that goes behind. I think the light board makes all the difference in the world. You know, as a 50 year old woman, I have to wear reading glasses and Every source of light that I can get to really help me do that hobby is makes it that much more fun. So diamond painting is so cool because there are so many options out there of what you can do. You don't even just have to diamond paint, you know, like an actual picture. You can make coasters. There's all different fun things. So those are great gift ideas, which we are going to talk a little bit more about the coasters because we've talked about those in the past. So. Keep that in mind, diamond painting is more than just a painting. You can actually make things that could be very thoughtful gifts, such as the diamond painting coasters. I'll leave a link down below. So speaking of the coasters, I'm actually sitting here using one. This is one that I made in the past and you guys have seen me make these to where you get the uh, transfers and you put them on these coasters that I purchased off, off of Amazon. And I will tell you, let's see, I made trying to think of how long ago I made that video. I feel like it's been almost a year. As you can see, this cup is very wet. I don't know if I, maybe I'll zoom in here. Um, I put the clear coat seal on these. They still do amazing. My cups leak all over these. These transfers never came off. And we're going to talk a little bit more about these and some um, alternatives that I found that I think you're really going to enjoy. So if you've never thought about making coasters, it's a really fun hobby and a great creative outlet. One of the things that I don't feel like we ever really talked about in the past that I do want to touch on because I do feel like it's just kind of a, an old tried and true hobby that a lot of people do and that's puzzles. And I want to show you today this puzzle board that I've purchased that I feel like makes all the difference in the world on whether or not I want to do a puzzle or not do a puzzle. The big thing for me is I like to have a place to where it can be put away. I don't always want my puzzles sitting out in the way especially if I'm having company over, if I'm doing it here on my dining room table, like I tend to do everything, I don't want to like not be able to move it. What if we're having a family dinner and that type of thing? So this puzzle board is amazing because not only does it have the four drawers that can separate, you know, like as I'm like separating the colors of the different pieces, but it also has this heavier mat that goes on top that holds 
what I have put together in place and then I can just slide this under. I slide this under uh, my bed or sometimes I slide it up underneath a chair in my office. It is great. And then when I'm ready to work on my puzzle again, I just pull it out, put it on my table and it's there to do. So if you are into puzzles as a hobby, I just wanted to give you a fun little extra tip to definitely make sure you get one of these boards because I do feel like it makes all the difference in the world of making that hobby convenient. Another hobby that is super awesome, and I'll insert a clip here, um, is loop blanket making. That was something that you guys were super into and I feel like it's just another one that I wanna share again. Um, I go through periods of times where I do these and then I don't do these and I feel like that's with every hobby and that's okay, I think that's what makes it so fun. That's a little lesson that I think that everybody needs to understand is whatever hobby you do, that does not have to be the end all be all hobby. Like you only do one hobby. You can do multiple hobbies and you can do them at different times. You can do them at the same time. So loop blanket making is the cheating way of making blankets for your friends, family, loved ones, newborns, you know, the whole nine yards, but it's just fun and it helps work your mind and your hands, but yet you don't have to have a ton of like crocheting or knitting skills, which we are gonna talk a little bit more about that here in just a moment. So I highly recommend you check into this. I love getting my loop blanket materials, usually from Joanne Fabric. Um, they do have it in some other areas. I'll be sure and list those down below. So many different colors and styles that you can choose from. It really is nice and you can incorporate it into whatever you know your home aesthetic is and you can definitely find something to make it just primo. All right, so now that we've talked about the hobbies that we've already shared in the past, hopefully that got you up to speed, you know, got your mind thinking about different things that you can be doing. And we're gonna move forward with the ones that I'm starting now that are new. I'm always working my mind, trying to come up with inspiration and ideas and things that I could always do to keep learning and growing. And one of the ways that I've been able to do that is with Craftsy. And so I wanna give a big shout out to Craftsy for sponsoring today's video. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it because it's an online community of people just like you and me who love to craft, who like to be innovative, who love to come up with ideas and keep learning and growing and need inspiration, this is the place for you. They have over 2,000 classes and they're always adding more for you to learn and continue to hone your skills. Whether you're starting as a beginner or all the way up to a master level, they have something for everyone. Some of the fun things that they offer, they offer like knitting, painting, crocheting, quilting, Cooking, which is one of the ones that I, you guys know over on Instagram, I'm constantly showing cooking ideas. I just recently did a upside down caramel apple cake that I'm going to share with you guys in a fall baking video that I have to give a big shout out to Crafty for helping to teach me to how to do it. And it is so good. Crafty is definitely your online resource for all things creative. I love the tutorials. I love the instructors. It's, I feel like I'm in a one-on-one -on -one class walking through the steps of how to do things. You guys just hold on. I am gonna be a crocheter before you know it. <laughs> That's one of the skills that I've really been trying to learn. And wow, do I feel like the resources that are now at my fingertips makes it so handy to where I can just watch this class over and over if I need to, to figure out, okay, Leslie, do that again. So it's something that I highly encourage. Being a member, you'll have access to Craftsy's live tutorials and you can connect with others who are creators, ask questions, even if you're a DIYer like me, there are so many great options. Something that's so awesome is the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down in the description box will get a full year of premium membership for only $1.49. That is such an amazing deal. I will leave the link down in the description box. Be sure to be one of the first 1,000s and I hope to see you over there. And a big thank you to Craftsy for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so here we're gonna start some new hobbies that I am planning to do and I'm gonna keep you updated. If you're not following me over on Instagram, be sure you are so that way you can see my progress and where I'm at and how I'm doing because this, I'm so excited about these hobbies, especially coming into fall and winter, you know, like we always say where we're gonna be cozy and all the things. All right, I'm gonna put my glasses on here so I can read this correctly to you, but I'm sure you guys have heard of the 3D puzzles. I personally have never attempted one and I'm really intrigued. So this is a 3D puzzle vase. This is called Flowers and Birds with translucent pieces, which I can already see. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so beautiful. It has 160 pieces and it even includes the 
vase stand and the water um, thing. So if you're gonna put real flowers. So this is a 3D puzzle that you actually can use as decor. And it's, you know, not just junking up your space. So I'm gonna attempt to get this put together. I don't know, I'm, I'm curious, am I gonna be good at this? Am I not gonna be good at this? <laughs> I feel like sometimes I get to do it like really great. It's got pretty good instructions on the back side here, so that's nice. We'll see what I can come up with and if I can get this done, but I'm pretty excited about giving this a try, getting it put together, and then actually using it in my everyday decor with actual, with, with flowers. So what a fun, creative hobby. I'm gonna link this one down below. They had a ton of options. Oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> I think it's fun, it's challenging. See this will hook on here. I'm not hooking it on right now because I, I don't know. I don't know what the best strategy is. I'll have to learn as I go, but all right, I'm figuring it out because see, this is gonna be the base and I'm working my way up. Woohoo! Okay, next up, you know how we talked all about Myrtle and that was like super popular and I'm still doing that to this day. Well, I got a new brain game for you guys for those of you who are like me who love to do like criminal mind puzzles. And this one is literally called Criminal Mind Puzzles. Um, and it's a brain game. It says collect the clues and craft the cases. So basically, there is just so many. I don't want to give too much away in case you want to get it. Uh, but it's pretty fun. And it, um, let me read to you what it says. Um, cause it says here you're gonna find numerous crime thing puzzles that will challenge you visual, verbal, memory, and logic skills. As we age, we all know these are so important to keep our mind sharp. We need to be doing everything we can, you know, as we age, 40 and over, you better get to use in that brain because if you don't use it, you lose it. One of the visual ones that's kind of fun, and I'm not gonna show you the answers, is it says, what changed part one? It says, study this picture of this crime scene for one minute and then turn the page. Really good memory type things, but there's so much more than that. So good for your brain. So this one's really fun. I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. And I hope you guys let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys still like to do things like this? I think it's really fun and really interesting. And so I'll leave this one linked down below. If you're enjoying today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. So one of the cool things that I discovered about myself this past year is I now have a green thumb. I do, I did it. I have learned to put the time and attention and effort into things in order to make them grow. What I think is so cool about it is even more so is I'm loving growing something from a seed and all the way, you know, to the end. Like, like my garden that I did with tomatoes and peppers and all that kind of thing. So don't laugh because I feel very much like Mr. Miyagi. But I'm going to try this bonsai starter kit. Let me put my glasses back on. So what's so cool about this bonsai starter kit is it is a complete 15 piece kit that includes everything you need to grow like a pro. Uh, like a pro. You're gonna pot it, plant it, feed it, mark it, and ace it. And it's got four different tree species in there. And then the cool part about this is, oh, this is so cute. Oh, stop it. Look at these cute little burlap. This is gonna be awesome definitely be following me so you can see my progress on how this is going to go. I know I'm going to ace this. I, I, I have faith in my growing abilities now, but not only that, once you grow your bonsai trees, it's so fun to shape them and do different things that you want with them to just personalize them and make them, you know, make them your way. I just feel like these bring a lot of joy. <laughs> so to go with this, because this is actually gonna go with our next hobby. I ended up buying these pruning shears because I felt like I really wanted to be able to like prune my little bonsai trees once they grow the way they want. But I'm gonna go right into the next hobby because I feel like sort of this goes together even though I'm not growing this part, but you're gonna see what we're gonna do. So I don't know how many of you follow Joanna Gaines over on Instagram, but she does something that I am like, I'm just fascinated by it. and I'm, I'm like, I have got to try this. Have you watched how many flowers she presses? I have never in my life pressed 
well, other than this sounds terrible and sad, but when someone passes away and you get a flower and you press the flower, but I want to genuinely do flower pressing to where then you can use them in decor pieces and different items. And I watch her do her stuff because you know she has that beautiful garden in her yard. And if you haven't, I'd highly go go check out some of the stuff she does. So I bought a flower pressing kit, which I am pumped because uh, I have a lot of beautiful flowers here in my area. My neighbor has so many beautiful flowers in her yard. And as summer's coming to an end and those are going to be dying off, it's the perfect time to gather those flowers and press them and make beautiful things. And the cool part about this is this flower pressing kit comes with everything that you need. So I'm super excited. And it's definitely a new hobby that I'm going to have to like teach myself, but I don't feel like it's too overly complicated, but it comes with like the paper that you put them on. It comes with the cardboard that goes in between. It comes with the press to hold them together. It comes with all the little tools because you do have to be super delicate. And I just think that this is going to be fascinating and I can't wait to share with you what I create and what I do with this. And I would love you guys to do this with me also. And be sure to message me if you've done this, if you do this, write me a message down below. I really wanna know your experiences and if you have any tips and tricks for those of us that are gonna be new to this hobby, let us know because anything that we can share with each other here and just have a great community of creators is just always a positive. All right, this next one we talked about earlier and we were talking about creating the coasters. Well, before I wasn't able to find a company that I could link that I felt good about their transfers other than the ones that I already use and they didn't have linkable things. They finally had some awesome, awesome options over um, on Amazon. Why am I obsessed with birds, you guys? Why? I am going to create some more coasters. These are beautiful DIY gifts that you can do for Christmas. I mean, seriously. The coasters are so inexpensive and these were inexpensive and there's just so many different creative options that you can do. I will tell you that sometimes when you're making these, think outside of the box. Don't just think you always have to do exactly what you see. Cause sometimes vector off and it can really make things more creative and an original piece that you done. And so this, this one that I got, uh, when you click the link on it, um, that's down in the description box, they have like this, it'll probably link to this one, but if you scroll across, you'll see that they have a whole bunch of different styles and there's a lots of options that you can choose from. But of course, like I said, I had to choose flowers and birds. I love this clock. I just think this one's so pretty. This one's called Memories of Paris, which I mean, right? Memories of Paris, how can that be bad? Check these out because I always want to like provide you with like the great places to go and to get the things that, that makes it convenient. Even comes with the rubbing tool to go on and I'll give you a little bit more detail about how to do these and show you what I'm gonna do. This is what I use to seal them. I use this Krylon Crystal Clear because it does a really great job of moisture resistant after it dries so that way, you know, you don't leak your leaky drink on it and cause the design to go away. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I have. This has been so much fun. Leave some hobbies down below that you guys really enjoy doing, even if it's the traditional ones, because sometimes if you have tips or tricks or those types of things, that is so helpful for us here on A Charming Abode. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.